We spent the best part of last week sanding and priming the bespoke cupboards, doors and kitchen island. We used a white oil-based primer on the wood and a second layer of tinted primer on the cupboards. Now we can't wait to show you the final colour in situ. Yes, I'm in my ridiculous work clothes again. And you ask, Philip, why don't you for one stop relax, sit down in the garden, read a good book, enjoy the spring. You so deserve it. And of course, I deserve it. But the thing is, Anna and Charlie basically begged me to help them paint in the kitchen. So I don't really have the choice. Hey. Hey. I'm ready. Ready for what? Well, ready to help you painting, ladies. Oh, um, uh, you know what, Philip? It's such a nice day. I reckon you should just go outside, take a book and relax. I mean, you really deserve it. Yeah, it's nice sometimes. Go outside, Philip. Good. What should I do? Actually, you've just come when all of the hard prep work is finished, so I'm a bit annoyed. Yeah, I'm, I'm the finishing off guy. And we got a lot of comments last week, people asking why would you paint such a beautiful wooden kitchen island in the first place. The reason is, we always wanted to paint this kitchen island. We used a bit of oak, we used sapelli, we used plywood. So if we would have wanted a wooden kitchen island, we would have used the same wood all over. But that wasn't the plan, so that's why it has to be painted. I'm excited to get some colour on here. I, I thought you say I'm excited to see you painting. Mm, yeah, not so much about that. I think I'm going to help you, actually. No, you don't need to help yeah, me. I'm, I, I have painted more things in my life than other people. <laughs> that's because you're so old. That's a rumour about my age. Yeah. A rumor. Yes. But the great hairs do not lie. Nor do wrinkles. So where should I start? On the top. Because the paint drips downwards. So if you start on the top, it's better. First pro tip, always start painting on the top. Is it true? I don't think you need to do that. You just gotta make sure you're not putting too much on and that not getting too many drips. Me and Charlie have spent weeks Prepare, yeah, but that was the, the base layer. It's easy on the base layer because you can do what you want. It's going to be covered. I'm, I'm going to now approaching the stage where every mistake will be seen by generations of people who live in this house and work in this house. That's why you called me. I know it. I think there's a dog trying to breach. <laughs> breach, 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 breach. I definitely think Ziggy needs to go outside. I think so too. Go. Is Ziggy ready for some painting too? Yes. Ziggy? We're both ready. Don't we look ready? This or this? Uh, neither. What do you mean neither? Well, those are too big for them. They're not too big. This is huge to kitchen island. I, I could even do it two-handed. <laughs> you know there's people who can do two movements at the same time. Have you tried? Do you know this test? Yeah. Can you do a movement here and we do an up and down movement? I don't think you should be doing this. No. It's not easy. No, that's not how we do it. Or can you circle one way and with the other hand in the other way? Look. Isn't it meant to be like this? Yeah, that's easy. And now the other way? <laughs> yeah, cut it, cut it. Yeah? Cut it. And just make sure you don't have too much excess, like, drips, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, but it's looking so good already, I think. Mm -hmm. And Philip, how are you getting on? I, I'm really proud of myself. I'm doing a good job. Thank you. Let me have a look. Let me come and check. Quality control. 
I need to stop now because I have an important call with our accountant. But now that I showed you how it's done, I'm sure you guys are perfectly capable to continue. Well, thanks for your five minutes of help. That wasn't five minutes, it was at least... Half an hour? Half an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Plus 20 minutes. Ça a l'air un peu difficile, non? Je vous regarde faire, moi je fais rien. Ouais, je, vois ça. <rire> je me demande si on pourrait mettre l'aillon là. I think it's the second time we get a huge delivery. You remember the radiators? We had four tons of radiators delivered on the street. And now this. I called Benoit, I called all my strong friends to come and help us. But I never got a call from the company to to tell us when exactly they would come. And it's a very heavy order. How many kilos? 265 kilos in here. That's more than you two together. So rude. Have a look. Do you not want to have a look? Okay. Or do we leave it in its package? No, we can we can have a look. What do you think we should do? Yeah, we should have a look. Yeah. Have it now. I want to see it. <laughs> mm. Wow. It's huge. Maybe we have to leave a bit the bubble wrap on for when we move it though, no? But come and have a look. A look. Can you see? Look at this. Look, look at this. What is this bit? This is the plancha to make meat and meat and oh, yes. Just one question. Yes. It looks really big. Are you sure it fits there? You measured, right? I think so. The expression an elephant in the room comes to mind. A very beautiful elephant in the room. Yeah, we'll just have to work around it for a bit. Ziggy! So Ziggy, Ziggy's come in to inspect my work. What do you think? I think it looks really good. I think Ziggy looks great against it. So you see, Philip got his touch of orange and it works really nice with the colour scheme in here. I definitely think we made the right choice with the colour. It's like a really rich, dark grey with a bit of green in it. I went for this colour, which is Pompeian Ash from Little Green. It's a lovely grey green. It looks really beautiful. It's a really like rich and classic colour, I think, and it's going to look really nice in here. Whilst Anna's having fun with the furniture, I'm going to do the serious stuff, like always, electrics. We have a brand new, super fancy dishwasher, but it needs a special type of connection. 
triphasé in French, because instead of your usual three cables, here we have five. It needs engineering level electrical skills to plug it in, and I'm going to show you how. For the next couple of minutes, you're going to mostly see my behind. But call yourself lucky. There's people out there paying a lot of money on OnlyFans to see exactly that. The educational component of that previous scene was maybe a little bit limited in its efficiency. So I'm doing exactly the same thing here, so you can see what and how I'm doing this. Most domestic installations with cables in France are made out of cables with three poles. But we have cables with three faces, one neutral and one ground. I know absolutely nobody cared what I just said. I can literally feel the boredom creeping from the internet, from you guys, through the camera lens, directly towards me. But hey, there are moments in my life less glamorous than others. There's one more thing I have to do, and this is to change the cable that came with this wonderful German machine from a brand that didn't sponsor this channel and thus should not be mentioned with this plug. How does this work? I am back. I was interrupted. We had some guests coming. I took care of them, not in a mafia kind of way, but in a gentle, welcoming way. Because we have such a nice little moment together, I want to answer a couple of questions we got recently about our Patreon account, what Patreon is and how to join Patreon. Patreon is a kind of subscription service which became quite important these last years for musicians, artists and content creators like us. It's a little bit like Netflix or Hulu, only that the money goes directly to the creators and not to a big company. Me and Anna, we are addicted to sailing blogs and after watching them for a while, we became their patrons to thank them and to help them continuing producing those videos. Because as much fun as it is making videos every week, it's also a lot of work. And the patron model helps to make producing videos sustainable. And if it wasn't sustainable, we just couldn't do it. But Patreon is not only a one-way road. If you become a patron, you have access to some behind-the-scenes content. Anna is curating our Patreon account and she does a really good job. Sometimes it's pictures, sometimes it's text, sometimes even videos. And next week, for instance, we do a Q&A, a live Q&A, about the kitchen renovation. So if you have some burning questions about our kitchen renovation, or if you just want to support our channel, please check out our Patreon page. I'm going to put the link down in the description of this video. And thank you very much. I see you almost finished painting. Yes, I have. This is the last draw, but I do think I'm going to do a second coat because I know this is a kitchen and it obviously gets damaged sometimes. So I think a second coat and we'll be safe. It's green. No, it's gray with a hint of green. It's green with a hint of gray. Mm -mm. I love it because it's classic and timeless, I would say. Like your husband. Um, yeah. I also wanted to show you this, Anna, because yeah. nobody noticed it. Oh! This is a plug socket now on the wall. It's a strange looking plug socket. Yeah, it's a special plug socket. It's a special range cooker as well. Isn't it wonky, Philip? No. Yes. Yes, it's You can turn it, you can turn it. Try to put it. No, it's stuck. Is it stuck? Yeah. Well, it's fine because it's behind a 250 kilogram range cooker, so nobody's going to see it. If that's a problem for you, there's only two screws to unscrew to make it look right. I think I've got enough work to do, so I'll leave that to you. <laughs> oh no, I just touched one of your drawers. You should have told me that you are painting. And also, people can see my socks with my boat shoe type shoes. Yeah. Which is not look. something I would suggest to wear if anybody else than your husband or your wife are around. I'm only wearing socks because I'm swapping now to boots, because I need to cut the grass. I would call this a very productive weekend. Yeah, I'm super happy with how it's looking. Still lots to do, 
But next week is a really exciting week because we have Benoit coming back to finish off all the last bits of carpentry and there's going to be a big delivery. We're getting our worktops. So make sure you tune in next week for the big transformation. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. For exclusive videos and behind the scenes updates, have a look at our Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching.